If you're serious about custom fabrication, you know that a router table is a very important tool to own. In the past, I've used this router table setup which limits me by only allowing the use of quarter inch router bits. This router table setup is also dangerous as I'm forced to lean over the table, and it's unhealthy as you can see it produces a billowing cloud of dust. If you are a do-it-yourselfer enthusiast that's only doing one or two builds a year, this setup may get you by. But if fabrication is your profession or obsession, it's time to step it up to a real router table. In this video, I will be showing you my new router table setup that I believe is one of the best for custom car audio fabrication. In my opinion, an essential foundation for a high quality router table is a router table lift. For this router table build, we have selected the Jessam Master Lift 2 router lift. Now what a router lift does is it allows us to actually raise and lower a router bit when we're using it to cut a piece. High quality units like this also allow for above the table bit changes, which is essential when we have a dust collection system underneath the table. The Jessam Master Lift has several different mounting holes so that it can use a variety of different routers that are available. An excellent choice in router for car audio is the Porter Cable 892 series router. This 2.25 horsepower router has plenty of power, and it also features a half inch collet along with a quarter inch collet, so that we'll be able to use all the different bits on the market. The router also features a speed adjustment which is important for different size router bits and cutting different materials. Since we will be mounting this in a table, we remove the normal base plate and then mount it in the router lift. The support carriage is tightened, and then the router and lift assembly are ready for placement in the router table. For the router table itself, we have selected this leg and tabletop combination from Mobile Solutions. This tabletop features a precision cutout for the router lift itself, and also has the ability to add levelers into each of the corners as well as each of the sides. This leveling ensures that the transition from the top of the table to the actual router lift itself is flawless. I also picked up this power switch from Mobile Solutions that's easily mounted on the existing table, can easily be turned on, and in the event of an emergency can be easily turned off with your leg. Another very important aspect of building a router table is proper dust collection. I received this dust collection funnel from Mobile Solutions which requires that you mount this adapter plate onto it. In order to ensure optimal dust removal, you want to take the time to use gasketing tape around any of the surfaces that are sealed together. I found that taking the time to do this important step allowed me to actually use a shop vac as my dust collection system. With the router table fully assembled, I was very excited to make the first cut. Something I noticed right away is that the top has these small dimples on it. This allows pieces to slide very easily. I also found that this router cut through pieces of wood with ease. It is very smooth, unlike many of the previous routers I've used. It is also much more safe to have the working piece at waist level. When I needed to change the height of the bit, I was able to easily do so with the included attachment. When it came time to do a router bit change, the process was simple. I'd simply raise the bit up above the table, loosen the collets, apply the new bit, re-tighten, and I was ready to go. The dust collection system also works surprisingly efficiently. You can see here that the dust is pulled down through the red insert ring, and very little of it ends up on the top of the surface of the table. Having a router table system like this is important for anyone that is doing car audio fabrication professionally. Having a system this elaborate may not be required for the everyday do-it-yourselfer, but I'm very excited to use it because I know it's going to help me in my efficiency of delivering you guys new videos. If you'd like to see more about the components used in this video, please see the links down in the video description. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thank you.